Okay, let's find the witch. Uh, anything else here? More loot? Block it back. Block it way. Everything is blocked. Everything is blocked. Let's go on the other side. Okay, let's find that witch finally. I'm very curious about this witch. What secrets she had? Because you know, I'm 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 almost. Oh, that's not quite sure. true. I knew who I was. It's just I was lost and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just oh. now. Ah. <laughs> also later. Decades ago. Never mind. It's good really? to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you'll only be able to end this together. Who the fuck are you exactly? Who are you, exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Aye, that much I knew. <laughs> Ceridian sounds familiar. Ceridian. Name sounds very familiar. To a Scotsman, it should. Once, a long time ago, I too was named Seeker. An old friend called me Ceridian. Little Seeker, he said. Serahin, aye. When I needed a new name, I took the one he'd given me. Or at least a form of it that fits my tongue. Ceridian fits me well, I think. Uh... Wait, here is another option. Who are you exactly? Who is we I to a Scotsman said it. when I need Sir No, it's not an option of to ask about the nightmare, fuck. Uh Why is there no native Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here. But they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem.
We must reclaim Antea's body. But Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare make the fog? The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. Oh. The nightmare is the fog. Each grows the other as the influence strengthens. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the dark woods. The work has begun. It must continue. Why bring us here? You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet, but yes, this is the twilight. Let me go and make a picture of this girl. Nice. Still, after the dark. Uh, and one more. Oh no, it's the same. Comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dearest, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. It is. How can we defeat it? How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The Nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. Uh, what, what is the Void? What is this Void? If there's a place beneath the Incarnate and the Invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have. And not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find. It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns. But you won't find safety. <laughs> In the void, safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons. Do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. 
Wait a second. About the nightmare. The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. How was the beast linked to the nightmare? Yeah, that's we know a good the beast question. Is linked to the nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The uh -huh. beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they exactly? They are manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. Interesting. Uh, what do you know of Deborah? What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Oh. Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. Okay. Uh, back. Uh... How did the seeker know where to find me? By the beach as I drowned. You sent seeker to find me. How did you we know get where answers to, to a lot of Are questions you from this witch? An old hedge witch, how she knows what goes on in her own garden. The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. <laughs> it is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. Uh, we found a cursed item. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Uh, show me what you saw. The hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher. I always have, and I always will. Toby, uh, materials, what is that? Hitting an enemy with a manifestation graph seven banish points. Hmm. Enemy with the rifle, increase the damage of the next manifestation by 50%. Defeating an enemy with rare, restore 35 spirit points, but spirit points gain are reduced by 25%. Man, why a debuff? Uh, I wonder. I need to see what I need for upgrade, you know? Less silt and skulls accretion for salt, for sure. But this one is 1000 and... 1000, 1000. I have only 800 gold, man. She don't buy, uh, she buy only materials. Are you kidding me? Thanks. 
Thank you, Siridin. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, what did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm -mm. How difficult it must be to follow this path. Very. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Funny looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. <laughs> tuning key. Take all the help you need. Madre, dear old child. A lot of glory. Feels unnatural. Dangerous. Vanishing, of course, is famously safe. This is the door, huh? Talk with the seeker first, huh? What the hell is this hole? Okay, okay. Let me check for more loot. In this, in this strange place. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach? Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The nightmare is strong. Need to go she has on the New void. Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Ah, uh, wait a second. About the nightmare. I'm curious. What do you think of the nightmare yourself? I think the nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? <laughs> I fear it. But I accept its wrath. As I accept the rain. <laughs> and New Eden surely deserves the flood. What do you mean? Listen, tell me more about you. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. 
How do I put this politely? <laughs> no. Oh, very politely. Uh, about Deborah. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. Okay, about a void. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. Hmm. We found a cursed item. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest. Locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah. I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. Ha who? I'm sorry, who? <laughs> Fear God Waterbury, local holy man. Hermit. Died years ago. On my wanders, I'd meet his ghost from time to time. Crazy old man. More bark than bite, though. Did he have a thing for making cursed boxes? <laughs> Fear God Waterbury had a talent, and he used it to lock things away. Things he considered too dangerous to leave free. How many chests are there? That's how I, I think ah, some chest. kind of collectible. How many more are there? I didn't ask, and he didn't say. I know it's more than one. I guess it's a lot more than one. He had a thing for collecting trinkets and locking them up for safekeeping. Why? Fear God Waterbury believed there was something about New Eden that drew folk to the occult. He wasn't wrong. How do we get open? How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me, Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know we can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Okay. Goodbye. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. Can we advance, advance a little bit on the main quest, guys? Is this Seeker's Cave? Only one way to find out. Love. 